Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. You are watching Holo Holo Adventures. I'm excited to do this video because it's been a while, but I am going to Target and we're going to do some grocery shopping. I want to look for some gluten free items, so come along with me. Let's go. I didn't realize that Target actually had a wide range of gluten free products like some of these tortillas. I haven't seen gluten free tortillas at other stores, so it was exciting to see it here. Target had a nice selection of gluten-free pasta, including their Good & Gather pasta, which I was surprised and I love the price at $2.29. I thought that was a great price compared to its competitors, so I am definitely going to try the Good & Gather brand the next time around. If you are new to my channel, welcome. It has been a while since I've done a grocery haul video and I decided to do a grocery haul video today because I'm on a new journey, a new health journey that I am doing my best to decrease my gluten, dairy and egg intake. And so I've been more mindful about choosing gluten free products, dairy free products. And so this Target shopping, I literally went down every aisle to look around on what is gluten free. And like I mentioned, I was actually quite surprised of the array of gluten free products that Target offers. Now I didn't realize that granola, the one that I was getting this safe and fair brand was already gluten free. And I was getting the birthday cake but at $6.49, it is on the pricier side. So I didn't get it this time around, but I love this brand and I wanna try the cookie dough the next time. Now I've heard of this brand, Magic Spoon. A lot of creators do do sponsorships with this brand. And so I've seen it, but I don't personally know how good it tastes. It is expensive at $10, but it is grain free. It is gluten free and it might be something I may have to try eventually if I'm craving for cereal, but not ready to pay that kind of price. Now this brand Cascadian Farm or Cascade, yeah, Cascadian Farm is gluten free and it is brownie crunch and it actually sounds really good. So I may have to try that. And for $5, it's cheaper than the other brand. Now, if you know me, Oreos is one of my favorite cookies and to see gluten free Oreos here, I'm glad that they did make it gluten free. So. One of these days when I'm ready to eat some Oreos, I will definitely get the gluten-free Oreos. I love seeing all these cookies and crackers that are gluten-free, knowing that I can still enjoy my sweets and it's a little better for me. I'm excited and price-wise, they're not too bad. Target has their own brand, which I appreciate, and it is cheaper than the others, and so I may have to try it when I have a sweet craving. Yay, I'm excited to see that these vegetable sticks are gluten-free as well. Here it is priced at $3.99. I love these vegetable chips. I did not get it this time around, but I know that I can get it cheaper at Costco for a bigger amount. So that is gonna be my radar when I go to Costco. Now here are some of the granola bars and bars in general aisle. And Lara bars were one of my favorites back then in the day and I discovered that Target also has their version of Lara bars and they're also gluten free as well. So I love it. I love knowing that all these products, they're gluten free and I can still enjoy, I can enjoy food because I love food. I love food. And so knowing that I can still enjoy some of these products makes my heart happy that I don't have to fully restrict myself. I love that they have so many options 
so many different flavors like i want to try the i think i saw the cookies and cream granola bar and that actually sounded really good right there made good brand and i've seen made good in i think costco as well so i'll have to check out costco see what they have um, but it's awesome like even like the good and gather target brand they even have other um, bars look chocolate brownie that sounds amazing chocolate chip i can definitely see myself eating these so these will definitely be on my radar when i am needing something um, i will definitely have to try these now the frozen aisle it was a little tricky to look around for gluten-free products in the frozen aisle because they are scattered everywhere. So here there was a small selection of gluten-free area and they had pizzas, they had breads, they had um, like a tortilla. And so the very small area, but I appreciate that they had some goodies, desserts, the bread up there. They also had right there the almond flour like tortilla. They have the Ezekiel bread. So small area in Target, but I appreciate that there's something here. Now, when I did go to the pizza section, there was um, more selection of gluten-free pizza products. So this is a cauliflower crust, and then this is another cauliflower crust. They're gluten-free. And so I did decide to pick up one of these. There was a really good deal on the Target Circle for, I think it's the Kali Power Margarita Pizza. So I did pick that one up. Now, Cookie Dough, this brand is gluten-free, but for the price at $6.99, I could not pay that price knowing that Trader Joe's has it, I think a couple dollars cheaper. So I did not get any Cookie Dough. Now I did pick up some yogurt at $5.69. I did pick up uh, coconut yogurt. Now the whole reason why I went to Target is to get coffee creamer. And so the coffee creamer I did pick was down there. It is called a Silk Creme Brulee. And that was my coffee creamer of choice. It is almond milk based. Here in the bread aisle, I did find some gluten-free bread that was not in the refrigerated aisle. So there's ancient green and country white. I have not tried it yet, but at $7.99, whew, so pricey. Now in the refrigerated aisle in the bakery section of Target, I did find these gluten-free products and I was so excited to find cookie dough. So I did get this one right here. I did get the birthday cake one with um, sprinkles because you know me, I like sweets. I'm so excited to show you what I got. I did get a lot of gluten-free products. I didn't realize how much gluten-free products that Target had and I love that I use a Target Circle because every um, food item was 10% off, which is amazing, such a great deal, so. Overall, I had spent $106. Um, so after the discounts and everything, it it went down to 106, which I'm so happy. Oh, I can't wait to show you all what we got. So stick around. So this is what we picked up. I got some apple pears for Kyra. This one is Nashville style hot salad, apple cheddar, we also got the dill and then we got a suzu. I like that Target has um, different salads and so I always pick up their salads when we're in Target. I got some blueberries, strawberries, my coconut yogurt, which is a vanilla flavor, so delicious. Dairy free, I haven't tried that one yet, so I'm excited to try it. This one is the cookie dough that I mentioned. I'm excited to try that made good soft cookies i got the 12 pack so my kids can eat it this one was a good find they're impossible burgers they were originally priced at 15 dollars and they got priced at 10 dollars plus 10 percent off so great deal i got Kali power uh, pizza for the girls i got their hawaiian bread and mini bagels I did get eggs for Ron. I also got the Quest bars for Ron and Kyra. And then I got um, oranges for Mia as well. 
So as you can see, this is my family's small grocery haul. I got some things for them as well as for myself. And I spent a total of $106. If you like this kind of video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Mahalo!